All right, hey VC, how you doing? I'm Jamie, I'm back, and as promised, a Record Store Day video for this uh, April 2019, and uh, I had already done a video for this. It ran, it ran rather long, and I'm doing this on my phone. In fact, it went too long, the video just simply stopped. And so I was gonna upload that and then do part two of the video, because I did uh, hit Record Store Day, did pick up a stack of records. Um, so I had initially opened them in the first video and was waiting for that to upload. So while I was uploading, I thought, well, I'll play some of my records. Uh, so we do have um, a consumer alert for you for Pink Floyd's Saucer Full of Secrets. Um, yeah, this is a Record Store Day release. I was excited to get this one because it was going to be in mono and Pink Floyd's uh, second album. However, I'm putting it onto the turntable and I can show you it's all labeled quite nicely. But putting it on the turntable, side one, and I don't know if you can see here, but there doesn't seem to be any separation of tracks here. And sure enough, placing it on the turntable, giving it a listen, side one is just this kind of monotonous dance beat. It is not um, set the controls for the heart of the sun or Corporal Clegg or let there be more light or remember a day. None of the tracks from the label is just this kind of just that goes on for the entire side. Side two is correct. Side two has the proper songs, but side one does not, even though it is labeled this way. So this is clearly a mispressing. And I went to a nearby a record store in our area with my friend Bill. He picked up a copy as well, and his copy is the same. As soon as I heard this, I called Bill. Bill, have you checked your copy of Saucer Full of Secrets? And sure enough, his is the same. So his has the dance beat, and it's bizarre. Like, it's just this monotonous uh, instrumental dance beat. And it almost sounds slightly better at 45 RPM. So this, again, clearly a mispressing. So I don't know what's going to happen, uh, certainly for this at this point, or if it's for all pressings of this. Um, again, I just discovered this today, Record Store Day. Picked this up this morning, playing it this afternoon, and discovered that side one is a mispressing. Uh, so I don't know if they're going to exchange it or what's going to happen, but uh, just to let you know, if you did pick up Saucer Full of Secrets for Record Store Day, and if you haven't played it yet, put it on your turntable and check side one. So yeah, that's uh, yeah, it's, it's a bit of a disappointment, but, uh, but there you have it. I thought I'd pass that along, um, and keep your receipts, as they say. Okay, um, let's take a look at some of the other uh, things that I picked up. I've uh, had a chance, actually, to spin a few of them. Um, I didn't get a chance to spin this one. Uh, this is uh, Elton John uh, with uh, Ray Cooper, and this is live from Moscow, 1979. So this was, uh, I don't think released before, but Elton John was one of the first Western artists to play uh, in the USSR uh, in Moscow, and then since then you've had, like, certainly Billy Joel, Wham, very, a lot of artists, uh, you know, Paul McCartney, to name just a few, but this was one of the first big official uh, Western artist concerts uh, in the Soviet Union. And uh, yeah, there's a nice track listing on here. And, uh, you know, some vintage Elton John. This is from 1979. And then you have that. Nice little right up there. And nice lined uh, sleeves. And very cool. Translucent. Very cool. So Looking forward to getting that to uh, play for sure. Okay, and something a little unusual that I picked up uh, from Record Store Day. Um, uh, as you know, I do like mono records. Uh, this is the uh, Woodstock uh, soundtrack for the first album. As you can see, it looks very much like the original, but this is a mono copy. Three record set, all the same listings and everything, but it's actually a mono copy. And unfortunately, I did take the sleeve off already because that was happening my, in my first video when I was kind of uh, unwrapping them all or breaking them open. But this was the sleeve, and so it's the DJ mono monorail copy limited edition of 8500 and it says right on here this is a documentary recording of the events at woodstock it would be most advisable to screen this record carefully before clearing it for airplay i absolutely love it i think that's that's hilarious i haven't uh, had a chance to play it but uh you know it opens up on the trifold here and then I can show you what one of the records looks like. There's no posters or anything, but they do a nice uh, reproduction of the original label. And it's all in mono, so that'll be a lot of fun uh, to get through. 
Okay, moving right along. And uh, yeah, pick this up. I was absolutely thrilled um, when I saw that it was going to be available in mono. Uh, I, I'm a sucker for mono records. Didn't know it was going to be available in a picture disc. We're talking the uh, 13th floor elevators and limited edition picture disc, original mono LP. This came out on Charlie. Um, but what, and I did give this a spin. It sounds great. Absolutely great, great psychedelic. And uh, I'll just show you. I think in terms of picture discs, uh, this has to be one of my favorites. So it just pops up like this. And look at that. And then the back. Like, how awesome is that? And it sounds great. And it's kind of nice that they do that. So there you go. Really excited about that purchase. I have to look on the bright side, even though the Pink Floyd was a, a disappointment uh, because of the mispressing. This was an absolute delight. Uh, this is uh, doing some research on this since <laughs> waiting for that first video to upload, which is not going to happen. Um, they did a free record exclusive thing for Canada, as far as I know. Uh, this is the Rolling Stones early tracks, and this was like a free record that you could pick up. Now, the, uh, the, the store that we had, you did have to do some sort of purchase. It didn't have to be a record store purchase, but you had to make some sort of purchase to get the free record. Um, but this was exclusive exclusive uh, for uh, Canada. And these are uh, all the stores uh, where it was available. And it's great early, early stones, like, you know, 1964, maybe 65, no, 1964. You know, all the great Chuck Berry covers and that sort of thing. And this is um, a Canadian pressing, and this was pressed uh, in Toronto at... Uh, so it has a nice little insert there, Record Store Day, and pressed at a place called Precision Recording Pressing in Toronto. And that's some of the other stuff that they do at that particular place, and plays great. And it's very cool. It's got the Record Store Day uh, imprint on there, and just black vinyl, but uh, really just an absolute delight. Yeah, so I was really, really pleased to pick that up. That sounds, yeah, sounds great. And speaking of uh, sounding great, I have had a chance to listen to this. I did pick up the Bob Dylan test pressing of Blood on the Tracks. And this was the intended album, but then uh, Bob decided to rejig it. I think either the record company or friends said the album was a little too down and whatnot. And it's it's a it's pretty it is down. It's pretty mellow uh, sort of thing. But it is a nice listen. Uh, many of these uh, songs were included on the big box set that came out not too long ago. But this is the first time that they've assembled what was the test pressing of blood on the tracks and it's really like <laughs> like a test pressing it's very thin cardboard and uh just a basic paper sleeve but it plays really nicely and there you go Okay, and moving right along, I did pick up one uh, Canadian uh, release, and that's certainly uh, for Record Store Day in Canada. That is definitely an area for improvement to have more interesting Canadian releases. Uh, but this I thought was a good one. Uh, Teenage Head, uh, great to Canadian band uh, from the Toronto area, nice uh, punk, kind of new wave kind of thing. And this is their debut album, and this is a limited edition heavyweight vinyl debut album, remastered from the original tapes, includes bonus 7-inch single, uh, uh, picture my face, full lyrics, liner notes, and rare photos. So I thought, that's all right. I do have a copy of this. Uh, my copy's got some damage, you know, a considerable amount of damage on the cover. And I thought, okay, well, they're giving you some extras on this. So we'll pick this up. And uh, yeah, it's, it's quite nice. So that pops out. And right inside, we got the single, which is very cool. And then it does have an insert as well. Nice, right up there. And inside. Okay. So there is that. And so that's uh, in terms of the, I, I went through the records, you know, fairly quickly, but while I was recording it, that's about uh, the time where the, my uh, video just stopped playing. So. There was one record I didn't get a chance to open, so I'll open it for you now. I uh, didn't know this was part of the uh, record store release, but this is Trout Mask Replica, of course, Captain Beefheart and his Magic Band uh, double album. Uh, so I was excited to see it, and I thought, oh, okay, one more. <laughs> As I said, my friend Bill and I, we did go to a number of uh, different record stores in the area, and it was uh, certainly a fun uh, morning, very successful morning, but uh, yeah, as soon as... Uh, played Pink Floyd's Saucer Full of Secrets. 
that was a bit of a disappointment. Uh, so again, if you have sauce, saucer full of secrets uh, from Record Store Day, the mono reissue, please check it. Um, but I don't know what they're going to do at this point. So we'll take a quick look at this. And this opens up. Nice gatefold. And it's really uh, heavy, heavy uh, cardboard there. And it looks like it's got lots of... Uh, Oh, lots of uh, sort of poster kind of stuff. Like here, like that, like that. Lots of fun. And then we're re replicating the bizarre uh, label. And uh, inside, like that. Very good. And I don't I think that's pretty much it for the other side as well. I don't think there's anything extra. Yeah, no, same sort of thing. Okay, so that is going to do it. Uh, for this edition, again, if you got Saucer Full of Secrets, Pink Floyd, the mono uh, reissue for Record Store Day, please check it, as there is a, potentially an issue with the side one. At least it wasn't my copy and my friend's copy, so double check it. Okay, and uh, thanks so much, and enjoy Record Store Day. Take care. Bye-bye.